to remember those players that played for a good team but just didn't happen to win the Super Bowl. As quarterback of the expansion Minnesota Vikings, Fran Tarkenton's escape act was born out of self-preservation. Tarkenton's improvisational style thrilled the fans. Fran Tarkington was really the first model of the mobile quarterback. He would just go all around, run all around, and play in a different way. Back and forth on the field, and we'd watch him. He's going there, he's going there, he's going down the middle. One of the opposing players was down on the field, and he tried to tackle Tarkington three times in one play. And so he finally was giving up. He's laying down, wheezing on the field, and Alderman looks at him and says, what are you doing? He's still out running. And the, the guy says, well, I'm just waiting. He'll come back here at one point. Someone that was just in a little different mold than the other quarterbacks. It just made him different, and I think much more exciting. In 1972, Tarkenton was traded back to Minnesota, where he finished his career having thrown more passes for more yards and more touchdowns than any quarterback in league history. And Tarkenton was finally ready with the big play everyone has been expecting from him all season. Number 84, Gene Washington, gathered in his 31-yard touchdown, and the Vikings were home free with a hairy 23-20 victory. Fran Tarkington looked for his old buddy Bill Brown, who certainly doesn't act like the oldest running back in the league. Five left to play. Eagles 27, Vikings 21. First and goal from the 20 of Philadelphia. Tarkenton, pump fakes, looks into the end zone, lets it rip. Touchdown, Eagles! Ahmad Rashad goes up over two defenders. Touchdown, Vikings. Vikings score the touchdown over Herman Edwards, and now the game is tied. In the very next series, Tarkenton once again went long, this time Fran to John Gilliam. Gilliam's 66-yarder gave Tarkenton four touchdowns and over 300 yards passing. Fran Tarkenton and Chuck Foreman turned things around for Minnesota. Tarkenton again went to his extraordinarily gifted second-year backfield mate, Chuck Foreman, number 44. Tarkenton and Foreman again performed Minnesota match. He's going to pass for it and send it for Rashad. Touchdown! to pass. It's got out him. there He's wide open. Yes, sir. McClanahan all alone rolling in front of Tarkenton who's looking deep in the end zone. Complete to Stu Voigt. Shy and he goes in for the touchdown.
Back stay in for the moment. Then release in the end zone to Sammy White. Touchdown. He's wide in a slot right. Spartan and looping it down the middle. And juggled and he caught it at Giddy Knight. Back and forth across that field, doing everything just to win that game, and it will be a memory that I will take forever. When he left the league, he was the all time record holder of every passing record there was, so that alone puts him in the top 100. Despite his record numbers, one accomplishment continually eluded the elusive Tarkenton. We played in the big game and we lost all three times that I quarterbacked. I have never gotten over that. I never have a day go by that I don't regret not being able to do something more to help my team win a Super Bowl. We don't look at quarterbacks as being worth very much if they're not on a Super Bowl winning team, but we you know, went to three Super Bowls in seven years and won six division championships, and I was proud to be a part of that. Parkinson is going to run it in for the touchdown. Is he ever something? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Parkinson. Perfectly sets it up and then hits Ahmad Rashad over the middle. He was wide open. He's in control. Perfect pass. For Rashad, his ninth touchdown reception of the year. Well, actually what you have, Parkinson has an all pass attack. He uses everybody. All of his offensive men are good pass receivers.